I'm Julie. I'm going to show you today how to fit the halter monitor that you're either about to receive in the mail or you've just received. So let's unpack our express post bag we just collected from the post office. In it you'll see this white piece of paper with instructions on it and the clear bag with all of the You'll also find that there's another express press bag in here for returns. Pack the bag, we've got our monitor with the cables and the stickers attached, the black pouch for it to go into, and then in this bag here you'll find a battery, an alcohol swab and a couple of spare stickers in case you need them. I'm going to call over our model so we can put the monitor on in person right now. We're going to clean the skin to pop this monitor on. We're going to clean the skin with the alcohol swab. We're not going to shave the patient unless they really need it. Up here there's not much hair growing so we're going to leave that as it is. We're going to put one sticker here and four down the bottom here. I want you to read through all of these instructions before you apply your monitor. And you might want to watch this video once or twice as well. You can see on the second page there's a map and we're going to follow this map as to where we put our stickers which are on the end of here. So we just gently peel the sticker back to before we apply it. You might want to get a family member to come and help you who's living with you to apply this monitor now. So we peel it off. We're going to put the brown one here. And then peel off this section. The white one, if ladies, if you're wearing a bra, you might want to thread this one up under your bra. Then peel it off, stick it on. If the patient was quite hairy, we really would need to shave him. But try and find spots where you don't need to do that to apply the monitor so that the skin doesn't get irritated. We've got the orange. left hand side and we have red on the outer left. I'm using the bony section of the lower rib cage area to apply the monitor, not too high up and not too low down in the soft part of the tummy area. The last one, just hold on to one section, peel it off without putting my fingers all over the sticker, stick it on. There we are, we've got all our stickers on now. Let's go and gently press them on, make sure they're all on. Now I want you to try to open up the back of the battery pack. Grab your battery and you're going to use your thumb to gently slide out the battery pack and open it up. You'll see there's a ribbon in here. Please don't pull it out or cut it off. Just gently place it outside of the box. Get your battery, locate the positive section which has got the bump on top of it and that's going to go up towards the top of the cables. The negative flat section is going to go in the monitor first, press it in firmly, then gently fold the ribbon in, close the monitor, you might hear a little click sound when it's closed. Now in about 15 seconds we're going to hear three small beeps, that means the monitor's on. You'll notice there is a light flashing, but I don't want you to focus on the lights at all. I just want you to listen out for the three beeps and then we're recording. So we hear our three beeps now and the monitor is working. In five minutes, you may hear one more beep but don't worry yourself if you do or don't hear that beep, it, it doesn't matter for you. We put our monitor into our black pouch here and we're going to pop it on the patient. So just on the back here there's a little clip. We can put this on top of the patient's trouser top. And then we can gently tuck that cable in there. Now this is how the patient will wear the monitor for the next 24 hours or up to 3 days depending on how long your test has been referred for. 
Patient can't shower with it on, can't get it wet, but otherwise you can carry on with all your normal activities. When the test is over, you take the monitor off yourself and then return it to us in the express post envelope. But removing the monitor is really simple. All we do, we can just peel the sticker off the patient's chest. Or if the patient has sensitive or delicate skin, we might like to just gently unpop the cables with our fingernails, leaving the stickers on, take the monitor completely off the patient. And then this patient might want to shower with these stickers on and get them wet and soggy in there and then they'll come off much easier. But if they're able to come off, we can also take it off like this. Then these used stickers will go into the bin. We don't need those back. The same with these ones here. You can gently pop them off. And then you'll return the monitor by popping all of this into the clear bag here. Do not remove the battery. That will stay in the whole time. And we're popping it in here. This express tracking may be removed on yours because that's because I'm going to track it on its way back. Please post it back as soon as you can so that we can get your results back to your doctor. And if you've got any questions at any stage, please call me 0406 990 396. Good luck. Thanks.